morning, people. <laughs> We're late, I know. But we have unboxings. Roxy and I are in the, uh, we're gonna call it the music lounge. That's right. We got a little bit of the, uh, the wickedness in the background over here, right? Come on, Roxy, open it up. I don't know if anyone's coming. We're way late. It's supposed to start at four. And we're starting a half an hour late. Uh, partially my fault, because, you know, I could have been ready hours ago. But uh, I felt sorry for the plants around the building and I felt I needed to water them. So I started watering the plants and then I realized I had a appointment with one of the uh, tenants here. Let's turn this down. Had an appointment with one of the tenants here uh, to uh, move them out. So that had to happen. Um, and of course that happened like at 3.45 right before I would be almost going on and then I thought okay we can go through it quick five minutes right just give me your keys I'll get your address we'll walk through the place blah 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 but place is a mess I have to make a lot of notes <laughs> and then on top of that they're moving stuff out and they spill a bunch of I don't know what it was like sour cream or some creamy milky something all over the lobby so I had to mop that up <laughs> so it's always something ah. but we're happy because I got my know your tone live it love it learn it live it love it shirt if you know what that's all about just look at the top there that's right know your gear dang it know it i don't know half my gear hey bc rich 581 what's happening dude so i just got a little background uh strumming that i did on through my uh ditto looper over here my handy little tc electronic ditto looper and uh I got some cool things to unbox. Not not that cool, but I, I think this thing right here, this thing, this is super cool. Because I saw this on somebody else's stream. God, I can't remember whose was it. Man. Anyway, you guys are going to dig this. Because I can especially appreciate this for the song that I'm doing. Tony Levin. You know, you know what someone else told me I look like without the glasses on? Without the, the beard, maybe? I was told uh, there was this guy at this liquor store down by from my uncle's um, door shop where I worked, and um, that guy in that liquor store, I'd always buy my grandfather his uh, L and M. So get this L and M cigarettes, right? My uncle smoked Terratin cigarettes, so way off-brand cigarettes, right? And um, let me turn this down even more. Might as well keep the background music though, right? It's kind of cool. And uh, I'd go pick up a carton of cigarettes for him at the liquor store. And the guy there, God, what's his name? That guy ended up having cancer, and I don't know what happened to him. But it reminded me a little bit of uh, the first, like, curly Three Stooges, like the, the bald guy. Anyway, with glasses, though, which is kind of odd. So I need to see. I need to see what you're writing. But um, that guy used to call me Agassi. I don't know why, like Andre Agassi. So I guess when I was younger... Maybe I kind of look like Andre Agassi. So, uh, yeah. Because I used to have the long hair, too, you know. And I kind of, even though I'm not Syrian like Agassi is, I guess, uh, whatever. I think the Hungarians have some connection to many of the, uh, not just the Balkan, but more the uh, the Turkish and Syrian and some of those other nations from, from the Middle East. Because they've been invaded so many times. They're like on the border of Europe and uh, the Middle East so everyone kind of like just trampled through them right so so yeah should I start the unboxing should I do the unboxing or should I just show you the next box so I I already opened this one it's open but I'm not gonna take it out yet I'll wait till a couple more people show so what are you up to BC Rich Bob Kulik yeah yeah, the Bob Kulik thing, I'm not quite, uh, yeah, he's got different features, right? But I, I appreciate that. Tony Levin? I have to look up Tony Levin now, I can't recall. Um, I don't know, I got my own kind of Hungarian look. And I'm, I'm like pretty much pure blooded, 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 blooded Hungarian. So, okay, let me show you guys this. This is, uh, you guys, you. <laughs> you guys later, whoever else shows up. 
sweet water. That's right. Nothing exciting. Well, the the motivation behind this box right here is exciting because the upstairs um, little practice room is going to happen. It's coming together. I got some carpeting for it. So I'm going to put that down. I got to get the uh, soundboard up there so I can sound dead in that room. And I'm going to be sticking. Let me show you this. So what's in the box? The box right there, that that box happens to be something for this. So I'm going to flip this quick so you can't see it. There we go. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you know BC Rich. Hey, Sonia, what's happening? I haven't seen you around. How you doing? Hope you're well. So I got some... Uh, Got some sweet water candy here. Roxy's favorite, the honey. What is it, the bit of honey? That's her favorite thing, the bit of honey. Roxy, you're so excited, look at you. You wanna get some bitter honey? Come here. There she is, you guys. The star of the show, Roxy. Rockin' Roxy. Rock and rollin' rockin' Roxy. Gotta get like a little vest that holds the guitar that I can strap on her. <laughs> Would that be awesome? What do you think, Rox? You want some? Let me open it up. All right, let me get the let me get the unboxing knife. Here's my unboxing knife. German steel. Right. American steel is good steel too, but lately they've been buying they've been buying steel from the Chinese. <laughs> I don't know how trustworthy that shit is. Nothing racist there. Just saying. Oh, Roxy, what did I do? Did I put you away? Okay, let me keep you here. Maybe I should back up, right? Maybe I should tilt down. Let me tilt this down. Hey, Janice, what's happening? So we got some unboxing going on here today. And one of the things, the thing that's in the box here is, is going to be used for the thing that's under the box. We've got Roxy here. Just, she just wants some bit of honey. Right, Roxy? Is that your favorite? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you how it's done. Mm. Mm, yeah. There you go. Last time she was nibbling this stuff up. There you go. <laughs> Got the laser light show going on here. The LED the lights. You know what I was thinking about doing is I have a fan. Because right now it looks like I'm going to get shot, right? <laughs> so I have a fan. I was thinking about putting it on the fan and having it go like like that you know and I have a green one too all right Roxy so should we, should we show the the patient good people what we got what's in the box what's in the box yeah I don't know if you guys are in the Saturday Night Live but I've always been in the Saturday Night Live and the only funny thing they've done in the last several like months or whatever was uh, Kenan He's doing the, uh, what's up with that? What's up with that? Do we? Anyway, here's the thank you. What's up with that? <laughs> the thank you from Sweetwater. And all I got in this big old box is this. That's right, a real super fancy keyboard cover. <laughs> Which is for this. That's right. I don't know. I know you guys are all guitar people, but I'm a musician, not just a guitarist. So I use uh, guitars and keyboards and sticks and stones and whatever I can for uh, musical creation, right? And this is a VR09 I got at a super great deal. I'll show you the back. This is what the, uh, the, the people... Uh, and the audience usually see Roland. That's right, Rolando. Roland. Great Japanese name. <laughs> that Japanese dude, Roland. The VR09, which means uh, basically this thing is a rotary, rotary organ killer keyboard, right? Um, it comes with USB memory. This little thing right here, you flip this up. Connect uh, 
connect the USB. Oh, I got to go this way. Probably need more light, right? Okay, hold on. Let me add more light. Sorry. Add more light. Ta-da. Trying to keep it kind of not so bright. So there's a little USB port there. See that little door? So you can you can save patches. It's too bright. Let's let's knock the bright down. Save patches, right? We don't need no stinking patches. <laughs> I had a margarita, you guys. If you're wondering, where's all this enthusiasm coming from? It's called Patron Silver. <laughs> A little Grand Marnier on top of the ice, you know, you just kind of drizzle it on the top of the uh, margarita. Oh yeah, we had margaritas and chips earlier for lunch, that was it. Chips, salsa, and margarita. So it's a drawbar organ uh, keyboard, right? Got all these different things, attack, delay, release, and all the different uh, cutoffs when it comes to the LFOs. That's low frequency, frequency oscillators, by the way. And, um, and then you got your level control here, and then this thing is actually really set up really cool where you can add overdrive to it right here, adjust the tone, there's a compressor wheel right here, you can add some compression, reverb you can control on the fly, delay you can control on the fly, and there's also multi effects that you can choose that you can add on the fly. And then you've also got percussion, you can do various types of uh, organ like you know sliders here and then you've got splits for the keyboard you can split the keyboard up so you can have one sound on one half the other sound on the other half so like let's say bass on the left and keyboard on the right and then you can overlay them too which is way cool and then you've got vibrato on chorus um, and and you can also add you know change the lighting upper and lower and then you've got these different modes here which you can go from organ mode to piano mode to synth mode and that adjusts basically what these things do which is really nice because then you know you can actually control say different levels of different things with these wheels if you're not in organ mode you can be adjusting synth LFOs and oscillators and whatever you can, you can adjust things right so um, you've also got your transpose which you can move your keyboard so that's up or down octaves right and you got your value uh, wheel here which just moves you through the different batches <laughs> and then you've got uh, a cursor which you can go up and down with and you can save your own here in the piano mode, you've got regular piano, e piano, clavs, and then other. Of course, there are different kinds of piano sounds, like you can go honky tonk or whatever. You can adjust the level right on the fly right here. Then you've got a dedicated section here for synth. Everything from brass to strings to synth leads to bass to pads to you know choirs and and other like special effects type sounding kind of things like you know spacey kind of like sci-fi things. And then other, like you can do laser beams or whatever, right? And then this section here is all drums. So you've got a drum section here. So you just hit the drum section here and you can, you know, go up and down the level with the drums. So everything is like right at your fingertips so you can live do things on the fly, which I love because I'm a very spontaneous kind of... Um, I play by ear and I play, you know, with a lot of spontaneity. And when I write too, I like to have that ability to just on the fly throw whatever I have that I want to do. And then these registrations is what they're calling batches. So they give up the stinking batches. And now they call them registrations, which you can then go through different banks. There's four banks. And then you can also save them to that USB. So I got this because I've, I've wanted one for a long, long time. This is like a really, really good, like, you know, Hammond organ sounding keyboard. I've got, that, you know, you can do all that killer, like, everything from the Vox sounding organ kind of stuff to the Hammond and Wurlitzer and whatever. I mean, the DS88 that I have does a lot of that stuff, but it doesn't have the waterfall feel keys. So these keys, these keys feel great, right? So they feel great. So that's unboxing numero uno. Maybe we should throw a little bit of this in there just for some fun before we do uh, opening number two, right?
I think the uh, ditto is too loud, right? That's it, that's the sound. Sound, guys. on it <laughs> I have not even practiced so you guys know that I was dealing a lot with my dad's stuff right I'm gonna leave the uh, I like the sound of that going on in the background so I'm gonna leave it so the next thing yeah the new keyboard smell so actually I, I got that as a demo and uh, it's pretty sweet man it's, it's I've been wanting that for a long time but they have never come down in price they've been $9.99 since they came out right that's you can't get it lower and not even for like like Black Friday or nothing you can't get a deal so uh, post gear fest Sweetwater right <laughs> I talked to my buddy Evan over at, at Sweetwater I'm like dude you got anything else you know what's on my wish list I mean you know what I want and uh, he says you know what hey what's up no cover charge so uh, so I'm like you know what what about that keyboard that I've been talking to you guys about for a while? So he had a demo, <laughs> a demo, <laughs> an open box demo, right? <laughs> so I got it at 25% off, so $750. He's a good man. Evan Meyer, look him up. Sweetwater, he's a good guy. Keyboard dude too. Anyway, so unboxing number two, Roxy, you want to come help out with unboxing? Here's Roxy, by the way. Roxy, show yourself. Show yourself to the good peoples. Look how healthy and happy she looks. She's doing so well. I gotta tell you that getting the outdoor little uh, happy hut for her, that was the thing that kind of changed everything for her. So let me say hi to everybody, by the way. There's like nine people in here, which I'm so freaking... You guys, I was so late today, and I'm like, sometimes I can't get it together with my computer and my job working as a manager at this apartment building, you know. I have to deal with stuff that happens fly of the moment you know and uh, yeah look at her she's unboxing it right now she's unpackaging it and uh, something happened I had to deal with so I had to take care of uh, a big mess in the lobby with the uh, new the new the old tenants uh, some tenants moving out happened to want to do their walkthrough and I told them look 330 at the latest or after 5 and they come at me at like 345 like, really so I was late <laughs> because of that wearing my tone shirt Notice that tone? You know who does this one, right? This is an old shirt, so this is an old uh, Know Your Gear, that's right. Phil McKnight, one of the guys that kept me like interested in going. Yeah, I think I might want to adjust my camera here. Why is it like so wavy? Let's see if I can get it. No, it's, it's I got the right, uh, let me get advanced resolution. No, we got high res. All right, so. Yeah, slow internet. It is what it is. So, I uh, have not practiced. If you guys know my story about what's been happening outside of the fires that were endangering us last week, and we had to, like, quickly. You got you, you got Josh? I think I've spoken to Josh, actually. I think he helped me last time because Evan wasn't available because I recognize this thing. Roxy, stop biting my fingers. So, you guys want to see what's in package number two? Did you guys all see package number one? Super exciting. 
cover for that keyboard because <laughs> it's going to go upstairs into the practice room that I'm setting up. You guys caught my uh, beta where I uh, show that room. I have a storage that's roughly um, it's roughly about you know six by ten, maybe eleven by nine feet high, right, or so, eight or nine. Uh, storage room that I, I got as a perk as the manager here. Well, it wasn't really a perk. I took it in lieu of a raise because otherwise it'd be like, you know, 12, 1300 bucks a month. And I'm like, hey, will you guys give me that instead? So they gave me that instead, and I was happy with that. Um, so I'm going to turn it into a little practice room because I can't really practice here at night because I still, even with headphones on, I still wake her up. So if she's sleeping on the other side of this wall. I'd have to like soundproof this wall and even then she'd still hear me through the door or whatever. I'm just making too much noise in here. So if I'm upstairs and I'm like in a room where no one can hear me because I'll have that soundproof with headphones on, playing keyboards or whatever, I can go crazy in there. And I'll probably take, I have an extra, uh, I have an extra, I have the, let me show you guys this. So I have an old, uh, older Focusrite Scarlett 18i6 interface. So I can take this up there, right? I'm going to be getting my computers back. I think my cousin Joe said that he's going to have it uh, for me. Actually, I could probably could have probably picked it up this weekend, but I didn't have time to go. I was going to even go by my dad's, but I didn't have time uh, to go by my dad's either. But I, I, I've been there like almost every day since this whole situation occurred where my stepmother finally made that call of I don't know what to do I don't know how to solve these problems with your dad so I was waiting for that call because I knew you know at some point she's not gonna be able to handle taking care of him you know so thankfully she reached out and um, in time before anything bad happened and my dad's uh, fine except that he's 86 he's got diabetes and he's had that for over a decade now and um, type 2, you know, and on top of that, he now has cancer in one of his, it looks like it's going to be cancer, I'm pretty sure. They have a big lump, 8 centimeter lump, which 8 centimeters, I don't know if you guys are into baseball, but I'm in Defender Baseball, that's my team. <laughs> I'm a Giants fan too, of course. Born and raised in San Francisco. Well, not raised in San Francisco, but born in, born in the Bay Area. Born in San Francisco and raised in the area, right? That's right. That's the 2014, uh, the 2014 championship hat that I got at a, at one of the, um, one of the. I think I I went with my buddy Dan. He invited me. He's a, a season ticket holder. And he uh, got me to a playoff game, which was killer. It was so awesome, man. If you've ever been to a playoff game of any kind, especially baseball, it's nuts. It's awesome. So, But anyway, 8 millimeters, uh, that's about that size. So you can think about 8 millimeter lump or growth on a kidney. That's pretty much your kidney, right? So they're saying that his kidney is probably going to need to be you know, removed. That would be what typically they would surgically remove if you're a healthy individual take this down even more but um, at 86 they're probably not going to recommend surgery so they're going to be recommending how to best maintain him you know so he doesn't uh, suffer too much so we had a home health nurse come through my dad's place and you know these are all suggestions I tried to get across to my stepmother years ago but she just wasn't listening to me and um, it's basically you know grab bars everywhere um, move out of a two level place into a one level place they have an upstairs bathroom and bedroom and downstairs kitchen and whatnot I might be able to get a plumber out there to turn their closet into a half bath and that might make it a lot better for them staying there but outside of that you know they will not move they refuse to move from that two level condo in San Mateo California and so it just makes it all harder so I'm going to do what I can to help my dad, you know, my stepmom's going to do whatever she can to do whatever she wants. <laughs> but um, anyway, it is what it is. So I, I haven't had time to practice this song at all, at all. I think I did maybe two, three hours of practice this week, and mostly it was the Robert Baker 
Here, let me show you guys what pick I'm using right now. That's right. My hands are too slippery. It's the RJ Ronquillo pick. Great song, right? So thank you, SD, who's not here, damn it. <laughs> Who else is here? No, no cover charge. BC, which is still here. Who else is here? Are there lurkers? Are there lurkers in the chat? Because I've got eight people and only like three or four. Peter the Bad's here. Sonia's here. Anyway, thanks, you guys, for showing up. But I'm sorry I'm a little so late. So all right, let me show you unboxing number dos. Or as they would say in Francais, le dos. <laughs> yeah, dude, I wish I got some sweet COVID cash. I got zero COVID cash because I work part-time as a manager, so I, I 20 hours regardless, you know. Um, so that got rid of all my uh, unemployment possibilities. And then as a self-employed person, they still haven't uh, looked at my numbers uh, in giving me my uh, retroactive uh, $600 a week or nothing. So I've got zero. I'm a self-made man. <laughs> my wife doesn't appreciate that. Does not appreciate that. So what did I get? Anyone seen what this is? A switch lock? So I saw this on a, on a stream last week and I'm like, dude, I need one of those. <laughs> At least one, so I got two. Proudly made in the USA. I'm all for that. And I guess you guys can kind of guess what that is, right? Yeah, I do need some COVID cash, but you know what? I can I can make my own cash, dude. I don't need the government proxy. So the um, I can fend for myself. <laughs> but if I can get some money out of them, that'd be great. But thing is that you're always gonna have to pay it back one way or another right <laughs> so so you see like the typical switch there right and when you're playing sometimes you knock your switch out of position so you know you could be jangling away right and then oh oops sorry you know well this thing slips into position I don't know should I try to put it on now I think I can Probably has instructions. Step one, remove the lower screw from your toggle switch housing. All right, we're going to do this live right now. This is going to be super simple. Now let me move the boxes off here. And then we'll demonstrate it. We'll do an actual live demo, live without even a net, a.k.a. EVH, right? Live without net. We can do it. i got to get my, i got to get my, oh, there it is. My little, I have my little uh, Phil McKnight recommended, the shirt, Phil McKnight, uh, recommended toolbox of necessities for your guitar tuning, right? So, got my rags in here. Oops, what happened? Ooh, Roxy, you knocked off the little light cover thing. Now we're too bright. Holy crap. I just throw a... I just throw a simple uh, piece of cloth over the light, <laughs> and that just dulls it enough so it's not so beaming bright. Bright. I gotta slide, slide forward. So I got my little guitar tools, right? So one of them is a 
screwdriver, and I like these kinds of screwdrivers because they're made so that when you hold it like this, your fingers kind of grasp over this kind of part here and then you can turn easily, right? So the switch lock can be very easy to install. I've got one of those that has like multiple tips as well. So I might need to I might need to turn this down. So let me go like this. So you won't see my beautiful face anymore. You're gonna see my lovely knees. <laughs> Roxy, come here. You can you can join in. Join in, Roxy. Come here, come here. Come Roxy. Come Roxy. Come Roxy. Come Roxy. Hey, okay, you can just stand right here, Roxy. Oh jeez. You're so tough to like maneuver. Come on, you can stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Stay. Stay. She can't be trained like a dog. She's too smart. <laughs> stay. Stay right there. Okay. So what they tell us to do is to remove the uh, bottom bottom screw for the uh, switch on your telecaster like this. All right. Remove it all the way, and then they give you parts. Oops! I just tore this all apart. Dang it. It would have been nice to keep it in one piece so it would look all nice. But who cares? Right? Who really cares? Some people might. So switch lock people, get in touch with me if you want to. I'm doing a demo. So here are the instructions. So very simple instructions. Step one, remove the lower screw from your toggle switch housing. The screw closest to the bridge, the lower one. <laughs> that wasn't clear enough. Step two, gently remove your switch tip. Oh, well, of course. Gently, you don't want to just yank it off, right? Oh, there it came right off. Switch tip removed. See? I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to put the screw because we have the gold screw. Hopefully, they're not going to replace it with a silver screw. That's the step three. Place the switch lock over the switch. Note that the flat side of the switch lock needs to be facing up. If your switch lock is not working properly, then it has likely been installed upside down. Place the washer over the screw hole on top of the switch lock and then reinsert your screw. So there's a washer. So it, there we go. So there's a smooth surface. So it says, what does it say again? Place the switch lock over the switch lock. Note that the flat side of the switch lock needs to be facing up. The flat side up. Alright, I got it. So I don't know if you can see this, but there's a flat side. And then there's one that's not flat. See how the teeth here are kind of down lower? See that? So then you've got that not flat side. So we've got to do the flat side down. So we're going to put the flat side with the screw hole at the bottom screw part with the flat, flat side up. And right now I should be in position 2, which I am. Or position 4, I'm sorry. But I like position 4 for this song. Then, what do you do? You got a special washer. And they give you screws too, but I'm not going to use their screw because I want to use my gold screw because my gold screw matches the rest of my guitar. So I don't know if you guys are commenting or whatever. Hover Roadie's in the house. What's up, dude? So it comes with a special washer. And I'm going to put the washer right on inside. Yeah, you know, put the screw. In the washer, here's the washer with the screw, right? And that just goes right over it. You guys are gonna love this, man. This is the freaking coolest invention. Now I was wondering how this works, you know, but I think they figured it out. I think they with the washer and the whole thing, you know, there's like a certain amount of tension that you can give it, right? You don't need to go super tight, but you can. Tighten. All right, and so let me show you what what the whole point of the switch lock is. You can imagine by the name switch lock that it's meant to be used to lock your switch into position, so you can't knock it out of place when you're playing, right? And this song is perfect for this demo because I like this song in the fourth position, in the fourth position being up high, right? Wipey wipey. Got some lizard spit for that, but I don't think we need it just for that. I already did a wipe down after. After every time I play, 
I do indeed wipe down my guitar and my strings. This is the only right thing to do. Do, 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 do. There we go. So there's the switch lock now in place. All right. So now here we are. We're trying to play the song. Let me turn the volume off this down on this thing here and turn this up. All right. So right now I'm in the neck position. Let me go back up. I'm gonna go back so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oh, I need a I need a footstool. I'll use my little toolbox as a footstool. I'm in the neck position, right? Now I'm in the fourth. Here's the middle. So I don't want to accidentally go from from this. Turn up the volume a little bit over here. the switch lock is now I can move it over so I can't knock it out of position. All right, I'll turn this down again. So you notice I'm pushing on it. I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it. If you guys are doing acid, this all makes sense. Otherwise, it doesn't. Anyway, I'm hitting it, but it's not moving because the switch lock is in a position that won't allow the switch to move. So it will not move. Look at that. I'm pushing on it. Ah! It will not move. But I just move it over. I just push it over this way now. Right? Slide it back. I put it in the position now. I cannot. I've got it in the, the fifth position. And now it will not move up unless I slide it forward and then I can move it up. So it's just a matter of let me see if I can show this without. It's a matter of sliding it, like, like tipping it, right? I'm going to use my left hand. It works better left-handed. Hold on. So, see how you have that screw right there? That's where the tipping turns. It, it, it toggles just a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can see that. A little bit of toggle. Just much. Okay? And when you're in the up position, it's locked. So it will not move. Push it down, this little toggle, and then I uh, can move it. So if you want to be in the second position, like I want to be on this song, I can lock it and not worry. I don't have to worry at all. I'm recording, I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I don't have to worry at all. Check it out. It's unlocked. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you this. Morley. So now you're in that locked position, right? You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry about knocking it out. Let me get the volumes up. Get the volumes up correctly. Here we go.
need to practice, obviously. basically what that switch does, that switch lock, right? I thought that would be a cool little like demo to do for you guys. So I'm probably way over my time. What time is it? It's like five something, like Ben Coombs is already live. Roxy, how do you feel about that? You go watch Ben, right? Oh, you're biting, biting me with your little, ouch, 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 ouch. ouch. You gotta say goodbye to everybody, Roxy. Yeah. Because it's time. It's that time again. We were late, so we only got a half an hour or so. Well, actually, it says live for 47 minutes. Roxy! You want some more bit of honey? Is that what you want? Can you give me some more bit of honey? Where's the bit of honey? Oh, Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll, Roxy. <laughs> that might get her. <laughs> got the Tootsie Roll from the Sweetwater people. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like a sad song, right? Like the guys are like brooding. It's a broody, broody song, right? The world was on fire, but only you could save me, kind of. <laughs> it's kind of like what's happening right now. Fires, pandemics, world coming to an end. But you got your gal, and you're all good. <laughs> Get your gal on the guitar and some Tootsie Rolls with Roxy, and you're, you're fine. <laughs> You were at the Omni the first night they played Wicked Game out in public. Oh, Wicked, dude. And, you know, I saw them at Berkeley Square a bunch of times over Rody. So I saw them a couple few times at least. And, uh, yeah, they were great. And it's kind of sad, you know, that uh, Woolsey couldn't pull out. You know, there she goes. She couldn't, he couldn't uh, hang with them, you know. He had drug addiction issues and stuff. I know he's into punk punk rock, punk rock music too, the punk rock guitarist in the band before he got together with Chris and Chris Isaac and that group. But um, that was cool that they were able to get to where they got. And he created a pretty cool, cool sound, man. That slow, cool kind of melted, wicked, wicked sound, right? <laughs> I'm gonna eat this. All right, you guys. You gotta go, I gotta go, we all gotta go. Have a good night. I'll play you guys out. Got the switch lock. I don't have to worry.
ending the show. Check out my strap with the gold parts. <laughs> I got ya. <laughs> I'm eating a Tootsie Roll <laughs> from my Sweetwater friends. Alright, peace out. Nelson, Janice, Hoborodi, Janice, again, cover, no cover charge. Who else? Peter the Bad, Sonia, BC Rich581, and the Guitar Hack popped in at the end. Thank you guys for joining me in Roxy. Come here, Roxy. And whoever else is lurking, come, Roxy. There she is. The star of the show, stretching her wings. Looks like she's getting ready to fly. She's stretching, that's so funny. Is that the new dance, Roxy? Is that the new Roxy dance? Alright, you guys. I'm going to jump into Ben's for a little bit. And uh, thanks for hanging. I hope you like the switch lock thing. I think it's a cool little device. I bought two. I'm going to throw one on my other blue strat over there. That one. That one. That way, if I want to lock my switch, I can lock it. It's cool. If you don't want to lock it, you don't have to lock it. All right, until next time, Music Therapy Laz and Roxy here saying, the secret to tone is in your mind, because you got to use your brains, right, to practice and study lessons, all that stuff, scheduling time. 
calling yourself pure one. And you got to use your heart. You got to use your feelings. You got to use your emotions. You got to put your your heart. You got to put your mind together, and you got to make some music with that, right? Those are the secrets. Hellface, what's up, dude? Hellface is in the house. Glad I hung out for a little longer just to say hi. I'll see you guys in Ben's show. And until the next time, when I don't have as much stuff to deal with, like with my dad, I'm, I'm going to be dealing with my dad for a while. That's going to be an issue going forward for a while, but i got to find a way to focus doing the other things I love to do, like music and playing music with Roxy. Look at how interested she is. She sees herself, I think. She's like, what the heck is that over there? Is that a Roxy? Is that me? It got bigger suddenly. It was a smaller bird. Now it's a bigger bird. Anyway, <laughs> later, you all. Rock on, and uh, thanks for hanging and, and uh, being part of the music therapy of the world. Until next time, which will be Wednesday, Wednesday night at 7, I think. Got a doctor's appointment with my dad that day, too. But, yeah, Wednesday night at 7. I'm going to make it home, and we're going to make it happen. I'm going to do the hump day Wednesday live stream with Roxy at 7. I'll show you guys how the uh, practice room upstairs in the uh, storage room is going. All right, until then, rock on, you guys. Peace out. And, yeah, stretch them wings. <laughs> Scratch, scratch that itch. <laughs> Laters. <laughs>